What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. I guess I can talk about it now. Um, It's been a week since the fight happened. Y'all, when Errol Spence Jr., the night he lost, bro, like, I feel like my soul left my body. <laughs> bro, I was so hurt. And I'm in a house full of Terrence Crawford supporters, my uncles. They getting loud and rowdy after the first knockdown. I say, damn, Joe. <laughs> I look like, fuck, right? <laughs> That's how I look. I'm like, bro, here we go, man. I knew my mans was in for a doozy after that, bro. You hear me? Like, <laughs> you hear me, dog? I say, after this, I knew my dog was, I knew. I say, we in for, we are cruising for a bruise in the night, dog. And then, you know, when I'm watching the fight, my uncle, Soon as he got dropped in the second round, my uncle, I told you, I told you, nephew, I told you. You know, my uncle, you feel me, big Shug Knight, you feel me, my uncle always been Shug in the hood, you feel me? So I'm sitting in there like, uncle, <laughs> uh, he tried to dap me too, that's my uncle though, I love my uncle, I ain't want to dap him, mom, damn. I felt like, you remember when Sean Kemp posterized dude, and dude gave him dap? That's how I felt when I had to get my uncle dap out, I told you, nephew, I told you, I'm oh shit. You hear me? You know, then my other uncle, he on the other side antagonizing me. I want to go crazy in this mug. You hear? Like, what? What? If they wasn't my uncle, I would have lined it up with him. <laughs> I would have lined it up with him, right? Then, bro, I swear to God, I'll get on social media. I get on social media. All these people, motherfuckers don't even watch boxing. Black folks don't watch boxing unless Tank Davis fighting. 97% of black folks, 97.6% of black folks don't watch boxing unless Tank Davis fighting or unless it's trending on social media. They don't know what the fuck they watching. They don't know what a left hook is. They don't know what a pull counter is. They don't know what a jab is. They don't know what, they, all they know is an uppercut and a hate maker and a hate maker. That's all, that's the only thing they know. The only goddamn thing they know. Here they come on social media, boxing experts and shit. I'm like, you don't even fucking watch boxing. What are you talking about? Then here come old girl, a girl, man, Earl Spence. He don't know how to fight. He don't know. He should have been doing it. He don't know how to fight. Um, girl, shut your ass up. Your boyfriend don't know how to fight, all right? Your baby daddy got his ass whooped last week. I saw it on the block. I should have recorded it and put it on YouTube, but I'm too nice of a guy to do that shit, all right? I was, <laughs> bro... <laughs> I was so pissed off, fam. I'm like, gee, I know this shit ain't going down like this. Again, black folks got all the commentary. 97.6% of y'all don't watch fights unless Tank fighting. Black folks on social media, Tank I, Tank versus Boy, that'd be a good fight. No, the fuck it wouldn't. Okay, and that's how I know you don't watch boxing. Talking crazy about Earl, again, the girls, man, girls talking again. I'm like, shorty, I just seen you get molly whopped. Three months ago, we seen that. I saw you in high school get your ass whooped in the cafeteria. How we? What are we talking? <laughs> That's how I heard I was. I swear to God. Then I get on social media. Paul Pierce on here. He talking crazy. You ain't the truth. They need to give me my name back. You ain't the truth with a performance like that. Paul, you by vagina, dog. You an NBA player and you out here ready and thirsty talking to girls while you playing cards. That little clip. That little clip of him. Run around, look up your uh, Paul Pierce playing poker or whatever the hell he was playing. I don't play cards, so I don't know what the f I don't know what the hell he was playing. He thirsty as hell, trying to talk to the girl. She she creeped out. He coming off like a goddamn creep. I'm like, look at this thirsty. He an NBA player. I pay your light bill, baby. I do this. I pet it, boy. Buying vagina. And again, here come because I know the girls. Because I don't. Cause, and men don't come in the comment section talking that shit. Well, we bind it either some way, somehow, we bind it no matter what. Because that's what girls say. When you tell a dude he bind vagina, he bind uh, P-U-S-S-Y, you know what I'm saying? It's always a girl. We got You got to pay for it anyway. No, the fuck you don't. Because courting a woman and out here just soliciting, like you trying to get a prostitute, is two different things. When you court a woman, yeah, you're going to take her on dates. But the woman gonna also pay stuff for you too. I don't, I don't play that shit. I'm not dating a woman that don't pay shit for me. She just want me to fork out cash. But I'm gonna just say this, cause girls always be like, you are you gonna pay for it one how to justify tricking. That's the shit they do cause they wanna get tricked on. They don't wanna stop the tricking game. So a woman always gonna say some shit like, well you paying for it somehow, some way. I ain't trying to hear that shit from Paul Pierce cause he out here buying vagina willy nilly. 
I don't care if I got one broken leg, I got an eye missing, I got my side teeth out my mouth. I don't give a fuck. Somebody gonna love me for me. I ain't paying for no sex or no vagina. And he out here at the table thirsty as hell, right? Paul Pierce talking about Errol ain't the truth. We ain't say that shit when you lost that 25. I mean, what's that, um... What They, they lost that mega-ass lead against the, uh... Well, no, wait, 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 wait. Was that the Lakers lost that big lead? Lakers lost the big lead to them, right? I ain't say nothing when Kobe beat y'all. You hear me? Paul, I remember them years before, um... Ray Allen... And and uh, KG came to save you. The Bulls was whooping y'all ass. I remember they was trash the year before. They two like two years in a row they was trash. Bulls, Michael Sweeney, Othella Harrison, giving Paul Pierce and them the business. You hear me? So I like, man, I know Paul Pierce ass ain't talking. You feel me? This trick, daddy. <laughs> Bro, I was so fucking hurt. I gotta promise you, I don't want that everybody talking shit. Laughing, cracking jokes. I'm looking like, hold on, hold the phone, the fuck on, hold the phone. Y'all better be lucky I ain't Errol Cousin or nothing. I'd have got on everybody's ass. Pause. You hear me? I especially dudes, again, I know that don't watch boxing. Bet not name rapper say shit. You hear me? I ain't gonna send a, cause if Cameron and them, and I know they probably said something too. I'm gonna talk about Cam hopping that fence when them boys was on his ass. You hear me? Cam got the fuck up out of there, left Jimmy there. <laughs> to get destroyed. You you know, I boy. I had ammunition for every motherfucking body that day. Everybody. <laughs> Bro, I swear I was like, God, I felt like one body in my family got whooped. Felt like I'm like, dog. You know that I ain't felt like that since I seen Deontay Wilder go out like that against Tyson Fury. My soul was crushed that day. Oh fuck, man. <laughs> Or when A.B. Adrian Broner lost the church's money. When he fucked up the church's money against Marcos Maidana. That's what, it, <clears throat> that's what it was like, man. I'm like, man, come on, dog. But it really was different for Errol. Because I'm like, Errol wasn't as, as, as arrogant as A.B. And, and obnoxious as, uh, as Adrian Broner, right? So I'm like, I'm fucking with I'm like, man, I still steal my dog. But I'm talking about when I saw that coming, my uncle them hollering and screaming. I'm looking at them like... Y'all know how when Snoop rolled down the window when he pulled up on Jody ass and baby boy? I was looking like that. I'm telling you. That was the shit I had in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. I'm like, man. Then I'm riding back in the car. My uncle, I'm like, please don't talk about this damn fight in the car. We ain't trying to talk about this shit. No more. I got to talk about it on YouTube bad as it is, right? Because I'm back in my mans. I'm putting, you know, I'm stamping my, I'm, I'm, I'm riding with my dog, Arrow. Right? And then I got to get on social media and talk about it. I got to eat the crow. So I'm already mad. I got to do that shit anyway. <laughs> but I'm a, I ain't going to be no sore loser. I'm going to tell the truth. And if I told the truth of the fight, bud, beat him from pillar to post. Destroyed my dog. But I'll tell you, I'll be damned if I wouldn't piss now. I'm talking about, I'm like, yo, this shit here. And again, you got channels don't even talk about boxing. I'm like, fuck. What is this? This is some bullshit here. You know what I'm saying? I got to get on social media. I'm like, damn, Chris Broussard, fellow member of Kappa Alpha Psi, fellow brother of Kappa Alpha Psi. I'm like, no, you don't even be talking about the fights, no. What is you talking about, dog? You high yellow, fam. Is it <laughs> yellow, yellow boy? You feel me? How you, how you knuckled up with somebody in the mini yellow boy? I don't know. <laughs> Look at me being derogatory to my black folks. It's all jokes. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Love Chris Broussard. Shout out to Newt, man. Fellow fraternity brothers, all love. But I'm looking like, what? This is some bullshit. Like, I'm in, I promise you, I'm in that. Listen, bet nobody crack no joke around me right now. You hear me? Bet no. My mama called me. Talk about some. This really what made me the fuck. This really pissed me off. Made me mad as hell. My mama. I'll be here watching the fight with your, you know, my uh, stepfather watching the fight with her. And she, I'm not watching the fight, but watching, like, the lead up to the fight. And Terrence Crawford told Errol, I'm going to make you do the stanky leg. And he did the stanky leg. Ah, I'm all, no, nah, mama. See, now I got to go. Bye, mama. Bye. Don't ask me to help you move nothing in the crib. Don't ask me to help you do this and do that. <laughs> Don't call me for three, four days, mama, unless you're trying to get these kids off my hands. You're trying to get these kids? Come get them, mama. Come get them ASAP. Other than that, I don't like them jokes, mama. 
I don't like that shit. <laughs> but then my mama, man, so I got to play it. I was like, man, mama don't even know the guy. She don't know a goddamn fighter in, in the world right now. None. All my mama knows is Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson. That's it. That's it. And here she come talking. I'm like, what? What, mama? Can't believe you. Betrayal. Machiavelli Mills TV. I'm out. Peace.